have also liquid clustering. And I think also this is something uh, I've been amazed by this, by this feature. I don't know if you use it that much, but it's given me more flexibility. Now I can change the logical partitioning in very easy way, rather than having to rewrite the table every time I need to change this. So it's given me more flexibility. Uh, also on SQL Warehouse, very possible to set liquid clustering by auto. So based yeah. on with time, based on the read and write patterns, it will decide what what fields used to partitioning. Yes. So so basically, thanks to all this improvement, especially on SQL Warehouse, the the speed of data bricks is much more faster for this like traditional SQL Warehouse usage. Yes, because for example, this. Uh, this like uh, like combining AI with the SQL warehouse because it's like governed by some model, yes, to decide uh, for this like index less indexes, yes, because uh, this way it can read read and write patterns, and with time it will decide uh, what liquid partitioning is the best for your table. So so in fact it's solving like problem with indexes, yes, because of course on. Uh, on Delta Lake, we don't have like uh, real indexes, yes, but thanks to that liquid partitioning, for in my opinion, it's solving many many of these problems. But probably more more needs to be added. But uh, I'm really amazed how the speed of working on SQL Warehouse was was improved. Yes, so basically when you uh, when you ask some like questions, it's you get answers really really fast. Yes, so so it's like, like, I I cannot like compare what was two years ago and now. Yes. No. It's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. now it's like I think Reynolds mentioned this like in his uh, presentation. Like he was showcasing how the performance were improved since we uh, launched Databricks SQL. I think three years ago, mm -hmm. and he showed show, showing that it's really like going like very very fast. I and mean, also one of the fastest. Uh, adopted product, I think, in, in, in Databricks, and it keep, keeps growing. And I think also this is something Franco Patano keeps saying, data warehousing is a solved problem. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, Already solved. <laughs> and, and also, like, when I keep thinking, like, we introduced predictive optimization, like this feature that helps you optimize automatically the tables and run the vacuuming. And then we did introduce liquid clustering, at the same time, we are with this predictive optimization, we're going to start capturing statistics, like for, instead of for having to run the analyze to capture statistics for various columns, it will be done automatically. And based on the query pattern, they will be able to choose the clustering uh, clustering key, like as you mentioned, cluster by auto, which means you're going to see like all those features are linked because you uh, optimize the table automatically, you capture the statistics and the query pattern, and you're able to get this, which means there is a flow. And like when you start building those products, I mean, it's pretty hard for me to imagine like they, they have this big picture of what they're trying to achieve. And this is something I really love about Databricks. There is this, uh, they're always like one step ahead. Like I'm talking about being a Brickster, but it's, I'm always amazed by this kind of like how they build the structures and the different steps to reach a goal. And, and I'm really keen to see what will be unveiled for next year or for the next two years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, of course. So uh, I think the, the answer is that we can do everything now faster, better and cheaper. Yes, because, because basically thanks to all this improvement, you don't need to spend time on thinking, okay, I need to add this analyze comment to my table and run it, yes. In, in, in fact, uh, mo most people, uh, most projects uh, haven't used it anyway, yes, that <laughs> no, yeah, I haven't seen more, much, much analyze syntax in, in production, yes, so. Uh, so in fact, thanks to all these improvements, it's like out uh, out of the box, yes. And I think this this is a strategy that uh, Databricks is offering like ready ready to use solutions, yeah. yes. And reduce the overhead yeah. and just yeah. let you focus on what's bringing the value for your business, and rather than need to handle all these uh, various workloads or various tasks. 
So yeah, that. And but of course, if you wanna keep doing this on the uh, classical, old-fashioned way, you can yeah. still do it. If you wanna offload those tasks to this to this to the platform, it can be done. So you have this uh, this flexibility.